Welcome to DAC 56. My name is Krzysztof Szczur. Uh, I'm hardware verification product manager. And uh, today I will show you the new uh, version of the SDVM software for design prototyping and uh, design partitioning. So let me show you what I have. Prototyping in FPGA uh, is uh, not a trivial uh, topic and uh, especially when it comes to design setup. Uh, preparing design for the prototype uh, can be challenging and uh, this is where we come uh, with uh, our HSDVM tool package. So let me first introduce the HSDVM. HSDVM uh, is the emulation prototyping platform that uh, can be used at different stages uh, in the design. The unique feature of uh, our prototyping platform is that the same hardware can be used for different emulation, uh, for different uh, modes of verification. We can start with simulation acceleration, we move to hybrid co-emulation, and finally the same hardware can be used uh, for prototyping. In this uh, presentation uh, I can uh, tell a little bit more about uh, the prototyping stage. Uh, because this is one of the most challenging parts of design verification, especially the design setup. How we can facilitate this uh, process? Of course, uh, by automation. That's why we provide a HSDVM Proto software that can uh, automate uh, several parts of the design setup. The essential features of the HSDVM Proto are fast presynthesis, which is very important because uh, you have to run the synthesis of the design as fast as possible. Then, automatic and guided partitioning. This is the item which uh, may be very complex for large designs, especially if you ha have to split the design into multiple FPGAs. So, uh, automation in this area is very needed. Another problem uh, with uh, design setup is managing connections. So, uh, tracing connections and resources uh, is required during the entire process. The HSDVM uh, provides a impact analysis tool that facilitates uh, monitoring the connections and resources. So when we uh, create the partitions, uh, then we have to uh, place them uh, on the board and uh, route properly uh, to achieve the highest possible speed. So uh, automatic place and route features uh, uh, allow the user to do it smoothly. So when we uh, finish the automatic place and route, then you need automatic physical connections. So assuring that uh, the partitions are interconnected on the board requires proper knowledge of the FPGA technology as well as, uh, as the board design. Uh, and it, it may be a big challenge uh, if there is no enough IOs in the FPGA. So uh, connectivity that is based on multiplexing, serialization uh, is, re is required here. Mm, very important if the tool can automate this stage of, of the uh, partition. Finally, a uh, very important aspect is how to handle design clocks. Especially these uh, gated clocks, divided clocks, uh, can be very uh, challenging when implementing design in FPGA, especially in multi-FPGA platforms. So clock analysis, uh, clock conversion, uh, these are the features that address uh, the, these complex items. And finally, uh, the tool that we provide can uh, support uh, also custom boards. So, uh, if you uh, pre pre prefer to design your own uh, custom FPGA board, which is optimized for your project, uh, it's not a problem. You can uh, create a board definition, load the board definition in our design, uh, in our software tool, and then you can uh, use the same software uh, for uh, design partitioning, uh, even for uh, the newest FPGAs uh, from Xilinx, like Ultrascale and Ultrascale Plus FPGAs. DVM supports uh, uh, the entire design flow, uh, design setup flow, uh, as shown in this slide. The design uh, flow starts uh, with uh, HDL, uh, RTL source code compilation. Then we enter the uh, synthesis stage. In the synthesis stage, it's very important to synthesize the project as fast as possible and also in the incremental way. So when you change something in the project, then you can go back and synthesize only a small part of the design instead of the whole design. 
When we finish the synthesis, uh, we have to load uh, all the design netlists uh, to analyze, optimize the netlist, and uh, also convert uh, the gated clocks. So this uh, happens in the synthesis stage. Next is the partitioning stage, uh, where we have uh, uh, several tools that uh, aid this partitioning process. And uh, there is a high level of automation here. So you have automatic and guided partitioning, uh, automatic place and route uh, for partitions and uh, also uh, there are some uh, tools that help uh, in tracing resources and connections. So when the partitions are created we uh, go to the connecting stage. Uh, here we also need uh, a high level of automation, uh, that's why we have uh, automatic physical connections, uh, analyzing clocks and uh, clock domain crossing that's needed uh, to specify uh, timing constraints and uh, at the end you can save the partitions and uh, enter the implementation stage to create QZA bit files. What we are very excited about is uh, the new features, uh, new features that we present uh, at uh, this year at DAC and the new thing is uh, uh, a fully automatic partitioning. With uh, one push button solution you can um, automatically partition your design into multiple FPGAs. Of course, uh, the tool also supports guided partitioning. So if you think that um, you can improve the partitioning, uh, you can first start with the automatic partitioning and then uh, using the guided partitioning flow, you can change it a little bit to improve the results. So uh, in order to improve the results, you need uh, some strong visualization tools that show you what happens if you move uh, one block uh, of the design to one or another partition. So uh, for that we provide a impact analysis tool enables to quickly see what happens if you change something in the partitioning. So uh, the delta view uh, that is shown here in this screenshot quickly indicates good partitioning decisions and bad partitioning decisions. So the good partitioning decisions are those uh, we, uh, which minimize the number uh, of interconnects between partitions, make the proper balance of FPGA resources. So uh, using the impact analysis tool, you can very quickly check these uh, kind of properties to analyze if your decisions in partitioning are good or bad. Uh, next uh, important feature of the DVM tool is uh, clock conversion and logic optimization. As I already mentioned, uh, you need to convert gated clocks in order to run uh, smoothly in the FPGA. And also, uh, logic optimization is very important uh, because uh, the capacity of the FPGA is limited. So you, you don't want to implement the logic which uh, is not actually used. It could be a uh, waste of uh, the FPGA capacity. So uh, the tool provides automatic algorithms that convert uh, the clocks and also do uh, logic optimization. When you enter the partitioning stage, that means you have the design already optimized and uh, best suited for, for, for the next partitioning stage. Automatic place and route, this is uh, another topic. In the ideal situation uh, that happens only if you uh, make like a custom board design that's matching your design, you can uh, have the uh, properly assigned uh, interconnections between FPGAs that match the connections between partitions. But uh, in practice, it's not very often the case that you design uh, the board for each project or even for each revision of the project. So you would rather use off-the-shelf uh, universal prototyping boards. And then the problem of matching the connections between the FGAs to, uh, uh, to partitions will um, arise. Sometimes it's needed to uh, reroute uh, the connections through the intermediate FGAs. And uh, again, uh, with two or three FPGAs uh, uh, and partitioning uh, to three partitions, uh, it may not be as complex, but uh, more than three partitions may be very challenging to find the optimal solution. That's why we provide also automatic place and route. And uh, when we uh, create the partitions, when we assign partitions to uh, FPGAs, uh, you can 
uh, start creating physical connections. So physical connections uh, assign the I.O. blocks from the FPGA to the signals in, uh, in, in partitions. Uh, again, you have to uh, make uh, several decisions here. Uh, the timing critical signals may need to be uh, directly routed between FPGAs. Less uh, timing critical signals you may need to multiplex because of uh, uh, not sufficient amount of uh, FPGA I.O. Uh, so our uh, DVM tool provides the automation also in the connections. Uh, the ICC blocks, which is a uh, shortcut abbreviation uh, for interchip connector, uh, it provides a embedded serialization uh, mechanism, uh, which is based on LVDS and uh, SIRDES. So this is a kind of time division multiplexing. It supports synchronous and asynchronous kind of uh, connectors. Uh, and uh, it, it can use uh, either a single-ended or LVDS signaling for improved uh, throughput and um, uh, signal quality. Here you can see the screenshot of uh, ICC configuration uh, and what kind of options uh, we have uh, here. So you can group as many uh, log logical signals to uh, one ICC and then you can select uh, the number of physical lines through which they will be uh, serialized. So you can also choose uh, single-ended or differential kind of uh, the ICC uh, connection uh, as well as uh, you can also uh, choose whether this is a synchronous or asynchronous type of connection. You can uh, define all these uh, connections by yourself, but of course you can also rely on the uh, automated algorithms. So with the push of the button, the DVM will automatically assign the proper ICC uh, and the DVM will uh, figure out automatically if the synchronous or asynchronous version can be uh, used. Uh, if synchronous version is used, then the synchronization clock is detected automatically. This is because of the DVM is uh, aware of all the design clocks uh, and uh, all domain uh, clock domain crossings. So the automated algorithm can uh, do the connections uh, for you. The clock tree analysis and timing constraints um, in the DVM, uh, you will have the list of all design clocks uh, with all the uh, clock to clock uh, domain dependencies. So uh, with this knowledge, uh, you, will, you will be able to provide the proper timing constraints uh, for your design and uh, for each partition. Let's just summarize what are the advantages of uh, ALDEC solution. First of all, uh, ALDEC is a vendor of reliable prototyping boards with the largest Xilinx FPGAs. The hardware platform that we provide is scalable. Uh, it can scale from 1 to up to 24 FPGAs uh, and uh, we use the largest uh, available FPGAs, uh, FPGAs from Xilinx right now. As you can see, the capacity can scale uh, with your uh, design growth. Except of the FPGAs, uh, FPGA boards, we also provide uh, a portfolio of uh, several daughter cards they, that use non-proprietary FMC connectors. So if you need to extend the prototyping platform with other peripherals, you can use these connectors. Except of the hardware platform, we also provide software. Software that automates design setup uh, for both emulation and prototyping. We also provide several host interfaces. And in the prototyping flow, the, the host interface is the HESPROTO AXI that allows you to uh, develop the testing application in C++ or Python. Uh, for those, uh, we provide the proper uh, software API on the host computer. Uh, what's uh, the most important here uh, is that uh, you can reuse the same FPGA prototyping boards for emulation, simulation acceleration. You don't uh, only use them for prototyping, but also at different uh, design verification stages. So uh, we in ALDEC have a very flexible business model. So if you need uh, a customization in hardware or in software, uh, this is something we can uh, do as a service. Uh, we have a tech, uh, excellent uh, technical support uh, and direct R&D uh, co cooperation. Uh, so uh, we respond very quickly to, uh, to customer requests. Also with these customized services, uh, we are very timely in the de delivery and development. So you can always rely on, on us. To summarize, uh, ALDEC is the hardware verification solutions vendor. 
uh, that provides a complete emulation and prototype solution. For more information, uh, please go to ALDEC website, www.aldec.com. You will find a lot of uh, technical uh, information there. Thank you very much.